Yesterday, I reported on PC Anya McLeod from Northwell Police and how none of the reports about her recent issues have mentioned that she and her now husband had been in court back in 2009 over animal abuse charges. I said yesterday that I couldn't find in the time available and, inf uh, and information as to how they were sentenced for admitting animal abuse. Well, thanks to a subscriber, or just a viewer, I'm not entirely sure, Gareth, I won't say your full name, uh, but thank you to him. He sent me a link to some information, which to be honest, as an animal lover, pissed me right off. I'll ask you now to pause the video and write in the comments what sentence you would expect somebody who's beaten their two dogs systematically for some months that was evidenced on film, hitting them with sticks, throwing water over them, picking them up by the scruff of the neck and throwing them in the air. What kind of sentence do you think somebody like that should have expected? And then come back and find out exactly what they were given. Well, Anya and her now husband, Craig McLeod, were found guilty of animal abuse at magistrates uh, and magistrates banned the couple from looking after animals for just five years. Anya was also ordered to do 120 hours of community service, whilst Craig was ordered to carry out 180 hours. I don't know about you, but I find that absolutely laughable. But then I'm an animal lover, whereas you may not be as much. But on top of that, and this is what I find the funniest, the pair did appear for a misconduct hearing where they were found to have breached the standards of professional behaviour and they were ordered to forfeit 10 days pay. No final written warning, no written warning, nothing. Just a 10 day fine, 10 day pay fine. At the time of the hearing, Anne Owen, founder of North Cluid Animal Rescue near Hollywell, called for the pair to be sacked. She said, I just cannot believe they have condoned this sort of behaviour. It doesn't give out the right impression to other people. Actually, I think it's terrible. I just can't believe that's all they did to them. I can't believe that's all they did to them. What sort of example is it if police are allowed to kick animals and then carry on working in a force? I'm sure there will be public outcry. So many people coming in here commented about the case and asking what can be done. There is a strong public feeling. A financial penalty is nothing. I think police officers have to show an example. Now, again, as an animal lover, I agree with her. You know, maybe that clouds my judgment a little bit. As I say, some of you may think that's fair what they got, but this is my channel and I will express my disgust at that sanction. So thanks again to Gareth for hitting me up with the link to information. Much appreciated. And thank you to all who helped me out. It's only me running this channel and sometimes I do miss things or I'm un unable to find information in the time that I have for each report. And your help is really, really appreciated. But as always, I wanted to update because somebody had taken the time to send me some information with regards to that report because I said I didn't have that information and therefore I'm sharing that with you today. 